we're looking at what is the same and what is the difference between two texts on the same topic. So we're looking at nonfiction texts, and we can look at the illustrations, descriptions, or procedures, or what the text actually says. So you should be able to identify how two texts are the same and different to nonfiction so that I can understand how two nonfiction texts are alike and different. And I'm successful when I can tell how two nonfiction texts are alike and different. So the first one is called rabbit hole. Now at first sight, it may look like this is a fiction text, but it's not. This is nonfiction. All right, have you ever seen a rabbit under a porch or a deck? Rabbits live in small places. They often dig holes. These holes lead to tunnels under the ground. This hole is a good place for a rabbit to sleep. A rabbit can also put food there. It can hide from animals too. When rabbits make holes, they go under leaves that rustle or make a sound. Now when they do that, they have a you may not be able to tell, but that is in dark letters. And then they put a comma, that's a comma, or, and give you some words. They're telling you the definition. So when something rustles, it makes a sound. What if a person looks under the leaves and dirt? He may find a rabbit hole. Rabbits like to hide. Most underground rabbit holes or burrows, here they go again. This time they're giving you the word in bold but this before, these are underground holes or burrows and they're, they have tunnels in one large room. So they're describing what a burrow is like so you have a better understanding of what that word means. Rabbit holes have more than one way out. The rabbits live in the holes in groups. Some rabbits dig more than others. Cottontail rabbits do not like to dig so much. They like to live in old holes made by other animals. Pygmy rabbits are different. They love to dig. They make holes in the ground. They push up the dirt. They use their paws. They use their hind legs. So a lot of information about rabbits in there. Part of your work time task is gonna involve you remembering some of these facts. So this will be in the content library for you to go back to, to look at so that you can refresh your memory. Okay, the next one is about cottontail rabbits. I don't think they talked about those in the other page or in the other passage. So the Eastern cottontail is a kind of rabbit. It came to the United States more than 100 years ago. It lives in many US states and in Southern Canada. These rabbits love open fields. They live in yards. They live in gardens and grassy areas. They like to hide in thickets or lines of bushes that grow close together. Again, this is in dark print. It's darker, it stands out, and they're giving you the definition, lines of bushes that grow close together. This is how the author helps you to understand words you may not know. In the summer, the cottontails eat grass. They also like peas and beans. They eat lettuce too. Cottontails have very good eyes and ears. They can sense danger. When they do, they freeze in place. They thump their feet on the ground. Rabbits talk to each other this way. They thump so that the other rabbits know that danger is near. Rabbits play together. They jump in the air and chase each other. When they play, they make small sounds and even growl. And did you know that rabbits can swim? Rabbits have short fur and puffy cotton ball tails. They have red-brown fur or gray-brown fur. Their long ears are furry too. So like I said, I've read these two passages to you. You can watch them again when you're doing your work time task. If you need a reminder about some of the facts you've learned about rabbits from these two passages.